Hello and welcome back to another Crafts with Brawn Jazz Hands. Today we are going to make a little owl using a toilet roll tube. How exciting! So for your little owl you will need a toilet roll tube. Hello there! You will also need some cupcake case liners. These ones are fairy cake liners and you will also need some glue. I have runny glue today because I had some left over from another project um, but a glue stick will be fine too. You will also need two pieces of paper cut into circles Woo -hoo! and you will also need a little teeny weeny beaky bit of yellow paper. There's my little beaky bit of yellow paper and you will also need a pen for drawing your owly eyes on your paper. So the first thing you may want to do with your tube is you might want to paint it. Ours are a plain white that we have but I have in true blue piece of style got one that I painted earlier I painted mine just like a dark brown because I've got some quite offensive coloured cupcake case liners so I thought it would be a, a nice neutral earthy colour to back it onto there you go that's me making the group videos my earthy colours my earthy colours um, <laughs> to make it work so you can choose to paint it, you don't have to, entirely up to you. You could always like coat it in paper if you want to, but again, you don't have to do that, you can leave them plain. You'll notice I haven't painted all the way to the bottom, that's because we are going to cut off about an inch off the bottom of your tube, an inch, two and a half centimetres, thereabouts. So I've got my scissors here, hopefully they are strong enough, and I'm going to like cut a line up from the bottom. And cut round. There we go, so my tube is now a little bit shorter than it was. Here's a full size one for reference. Now what you're going to do is take the top of your toilet roll tube, but I'm going to use the end that I've cut which is a little bit more raggedy, and you're going to push the top edge inwards until it's about halfway pushed down. There we go, so it kind of looks like that. And then you're going to push down the other side so that it's the same on that side too. So what you'll have is this lovely crescent shaped dip and I'm sure you can already see that this will make a lovely little pair of owly tufty bits. They look like ears but they're not ears, little tufts. The next thing you'll need to do is prepare your cupcake cases. These ones aren't actually cupcake cases, they are fairy cake cases so they are slightly smaller. Fairy cake size rather than cupcake side. So what you're going to do with your cupcake case, I've got two together so I can cut them at the same time, is you're going to just gently pull it out and fold in half. Try not to squash those lovely frills too much because you'll want those to stay frilly for a nice 3D effect when you come to stick them on later. And I'm going to just cut, a, cut across my fairy cake case, just like so. And then what you're going to do is cut away the that flat semicircle bit. So I'm going to pop these two together and cut around them at the same time. That's it. So you'll have these little quantity bits. I've got some extra ones that I cut away earlier, some pink, yellow and turquoisey blue as well. What we are going to do next, we are going to pop some glue starting from the bottom and we're going to stick on a lovely layer of cupcake case liner just like so there we go so there's the first one on it looks a little bit like a, a little skirt which is lovely it gives a nice 3d effect so i'm going to glue another one just over the top so it overlaps a little bit let me show you so I'll overlap just a little bit so we can see that colour underneath, but just a little bit further up. Let's get gluing. Here we go. So when I've been sticking it on, I've stuck it on initially so it's kind of, it follows the curve naturally, but you can pull it down so that it has a, a straighter edge across the top of the liner, which makes the ruffly bit stick out more to make it look lovely and 3D. Two ruffles. Ooh, one more should just about do the trick. I've got some quite offensive coloured 
plate cases because the brighter the better for sure. Um, but if you wanted a more natural look, you could of course use brown cupcake cases or white ones. Um, and then they look a little bit more authentically owlish. Here we go, so that's our roughly bit so far. So they look like lovely little fuzzy owl feathers. So next we need to take our owly eyes and we're going to use our black pen and colour in some nice big owl shapes. Here we go. This is the, the shape I've gone for. So it's like a nice big black round circle, like it's got a little bite out of it, if that makes sense. So, gonna do the same on the other one. Quick, woo! Look who's walking up from there now. Hey, Neris! <laughs> so now that you have your owly eyes, it's time to stick them onto your owly body. Here we go. <laughs> oh, thank you. I see you. I see you. There's something missing. Something missing, Ness. Missing his little beak. Let's put on a little beak. There we go. There we go. Twit -woo. Twit -woo. Doesn't that look so cute? Doesn't that look so cute? Twit -woo. So for the final touch, your owl needs some wings. For this, you need another cupcake case, or a fairy cake case in our case, case case, and you need to just cut it in half. No fancy other trimmings, just cut it in half. And you're going to glue them to the back of your owl, just like so. so here's one wing. If you can see it's crossed over a little bit on the back, the other one will overlap a little bit when it's stuck on, like, so Isn't that cute? There is what do you think? Isn't that adorable? I just think it's so cute. And dare I say, they would look really awesome on a certain tree that's gonna be put up rather soon. So I hope you have enjoyed making these sweet little owly owlies with us. Do show us what you've been up to, share with us your makes and your bakes and whatever else you're doing. And we can't wait to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now. Ness, you're gonna say bye. Bye-bye. Bye bye! Twit woo! Twit woo! Goodbye, for all! Twit woo! I've lost the block! I've lost the block!